It's the new Green with Soul Show. All right, welcome back. It is time for something rather strange. I never thought I'd actually be talking about this on a music news show or even a news show <laughs> yeah, for that yeah, matter. Yeah, but yeah, it's here. Yeah. We're going to talk about it. It is Dave Grohl's old punk thing. You son of a bitch. It doesn't make much sense. It's loud, fast, and devoid of structure. It is punk. What in the hell? Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeehaw. Welcome back to another pile of hot garbage that is the new Green Whistle Show. <laughs> hello, hello, a pleasure to see you all. Very nice. Today we are talking about Dave Grohl, legendary rock star, possibly the most accomplished musician in the modern age, and all around nice guy. Mm, yeah. Fresh really nice guy. Yeah. Uh, he has revealed a song from a Washington punk band, Mission Impossible, in which he used to drum back in the day before Nirvana, before our boy got all, you know, you know. The track is a part of a new documentary called Salad Days, a decade of punk, detailing the Washington punk scene from 1980 up until 1990, pretty much when punk just went poof. Now, is this something to get all crazy for? Is this Dave Grohl's seminal, politically fired up masterpiece that had been long forgotten? No, not really. The song is raw and raucous, just like you'd expect from this kind of song. Um, but, however, lyrically, it just isn't really interesting or special or challenging or anything, really. And the, the stiff transitions just make it quite uncomfortable to listen to between the verses and choruses. And it leaves a lot to be desired, really, especially when you know that Dave is sitting there behind the kit. Though you can see why he left them, you know, makes sense, right? Uh, but seeing as I can't really let you guys hear the whole song for copyright reasons, I will play you a little snippet now. Yeah, that was good, wasn't it? The song will be linked in that description uh, below, as well as the Foo Fighters, uh, as well as the Foo Fighters' latest record, Concrete and Gold, son, Gold. Yes, it was actually really good. I, I actually quite enjoyed it. I thought it was going to be a bit of a flop, but you know, they brought it together. They made it happen, and the Sky is. The sky is a I mean, if there ever was to be rock god, I think we all know it's Dave. So leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the song. If you think that Dave should have gone back to his punk days and given up Nirvana and Foo Fighters and everything else that came after, or if he, you know, probably made the right decision. And of course, if you had a good time here, then please like, share, subscribe, comment, all those amazing things that you guys do. I mean, seriously, you guys are what makes this happen. So thank you. Goodbye.